Hey guys, Nick Costetti here, Technical Service Manager for FMC. Today I wanted to review a trial that we established at our Whitestown, Indiana research location this season, where we evaluated Zywa LFR fungicide in a systems management approach for corn production. For the purpose of this video, we want to focus on three specific treatments, those being the check, Zywa LFR fungicide applied at 15.2 fluid ounces per acre in a 2x2x2 placement, which effectively places a subsurface band two inches on either side of the row. We also looked at a sequential management strategy of Zywa LFR fungicide at 9.5 fluid ounces per acre, and then we came back at tassel time with a foliar fungicide concept that we're developing. It's a new triple mode of action material called the Dastrio at 7 fluid ounces per acre. So traditionally when we've utilized Zywa LFR fungicide in corn production systems, we're focused on protecting against some of those key foliar pathogens, including gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, as well as helping out with some of the stalk rots. But through previous research, we've been able to characterize other physiological benefits, including enhanced root growth and development, um, nutrient uptake, as well as stalk stability, in addition to uh, hydraulic conductance. So as we think about hydraulic conductance, that can certainly be beneficial in the more droughty conditions, such as what we encountered earlier in the season. But the other thing that we're noticing in some situations on specific hybrids is improved leaf expansion. And this can be very beneficial you know, when we think about a hybrid that's able to more effectively expand leaves and capture that sunlight to produce the photosynthates that'll later fill the grain. So with this in mind, I think it's important to evaluate some of the evidence we've been able to document over time supporting these physiological attributes. And so I'll just go through bullet points one by one, starting with improved lower canopy retention. This is a phenomenon that we've observed in low disease and high disease environments stretching from the Mid-South on up into the Northern Plains. And as we think practically about what this can accomplish in terms of crop productivity, if we have more leaves on that plant that are still photosynthesizing it can potentially feed the roots and stalks later into the season which brings me to my next point which would be improved root development and so this is an area of study that we were able to quantify when we were developing the material but we wanted to take it a step further and we did some work with the crop physiology group at the university of illinois and so they were also able to observe this phenomenon but as we think practically about what a larger root mass could potentially accomplish for that crop is that it will be able to explore more of the soil profile and access some of the water and dissolve nutrients later into the seasons. So this brings me to the next attribute, which would be improved stalk quality and pith health. And to provide evidence for this, we can refer back to the study that was conducted at Whitestown, looking at the check treatment. As we evaluate the exterior of the stalk, we're seeing more browning. Now splitting those stalks, evaluating the crown, pith and nodes, we do see quite a bit of deterioration happening and this can be an obstruction for vascular transport later in the season, which may result in premature death of the plant. As we move into the Zywale LFR fungicide application applied at 15.2 fluid ounces per acre in that two by two by two placement, as we evaluate the exterior of the stalk, we see good green color. Now splitting those stalks, looking at the crown, pith and nodes are free of deterioration, allowing that vascular transport to occur later into the season and help us with our kernel fill characteristics. And as we jump ahead to the sequential application where we've got Zywa, LFR, uh, applied at planting, and then we're coming back with the foliar fungicide, much the same, uh, maybe a little bit greener in the exterior of the stalk, but as we split those plants, we're certainly seeing the pith and, and vascular tissue open and um, providing the opportunity to move those resources later into the season as well. And through this work, we wanted to better understand the association between fresh dover weight and grain weight. And so we utilized this chart to plot out those specific values. And what we found is that there's a linear relationship. So as our fresh dover weight increases, so did our grain weight. And so as we refer back to the specific values from the plants that we harvested from this plot, what we see is that the check treatments providing the lowest fresh dover and grain weight and the sequential application strategy is providing the highest fresh dover and grain weight. And I think it speaks to the importance of keeping these plants photosynthesizing later into the season as we near black layer to improve our kernel weight. So we were able to do some kernel weight analysis from this trial as well. And what we notice is that whether we bring Zywa into the system as a single application or in a sequential management strategy, we did trend higher for our kernel weights. And so this trial has not been uh, harvested yet. We look forward to bringing that data to you. Uh, but with that, I really appreciate you watching this video and wish you the very best this season.